guys, so today I thought I'd film a haul video for you all. Uh, kind of, I suppose, a back to school haul, but not really. Um, kind of a bit of a mix, really. I haven't really bought stuff specifically for back to school. Um, because, like, last year, I kind of went back to school. As in, I did my first year at sixth form, I had to buy a lot of clothes um, for sixth form and stuff because I wore uniform the year before that. Um, whereas this year, I kind of already have my clothes from last year. And I have quite a lot of clothes because I've already got more clothes last year if you understand what I mean so I don't really need as much stuff now um, so therefore I haven't really got that much to go back to school you know I've already got the stuff that I was wearing beforehand and don't really feel the need especially because I have like a car now and a paper petrol and stuff you know clothes isn't my main, pri main priority but I have got a few bits to show you and I've got a few makeupy bits as well and I, thought, I, I really hope you enjoy it I just uh, I thought it'd be a nice video to film as I know you all like hauls and watch them quite a lot so I think I'm just going to start with the beauty stuff so the first thing that I'm going to show you is the baby lips. Uh, now I was um, actually writing a review of these on my blog and then I got distracted so I haven't actually finished it. Um, but I have all of the baby lips uh, here. As you can see there is three uh, clear ones which is kind of annoying there's only two coloured ones. But actually I've actually been using the clear ones more than I have been using the coloured ones. I think it's because this one here called Pink Punch uh, in this kind of baby pink colour. I don't really like that much. It looks like this. It just doesn't really go with my skin type, um, you can't really see it very well on there, but I, I, as you all know they are tinted, but it doesn't really go with my skin type, it's just like a baby pink colour, I don't really wear baby pink colours that much, so it doesn't really go with my skin type at all, um, so I don't really know why I bought it, I think because I wanted all the baby lips, um, but I do like this one which is the coloured one in Cherry Me, uh, it's kind of this kind of dark raspberry colour. I've just gone over that quite a few times and if you go over it quite a few times it does come up quite a nice raspberry kind of red colour and it is a really nice colour, I like that one. Um, I kind of feel like when they were in America there was more coloured ones uh, whereas over here I've only seen two coloured and three clear um, and then we've also got Hydrate which is the blue one which is basically like a tinted lip conditioner, not a tinted lip conditioner, a lip conditioner, just a lip balm, uh, nothing special, nothing really hydrating, nothing, nothing's going to, you know, cure chap lips, just something to put on throughout the day. Um, this yellow one is the one that I really do like. This is called Intense Care, and it's one. Uh, this is the one that kind of I put on at night time, and it really does hydrate the lips. Uh, but I have actually, uh, I did actually lose this a few days ago, um, so I have been struggling without it, and that's why I bought another product, which I'll show you in a second. And this is Mint Fresh. I really like this one for throughout the day because I feel like it gives like if it makes your lips like feel minty, which makes your breath kind of feel minty. If you know what I mean, it makes you feel like you clean your teeth. Um, so yes, I like this one, that's the green one. So I have all of those, I think they're really good value, at £2.99. I just think they're really good value and I really do like them. So they're really good in my books. And then as I was saying, I lost the other one the other day, the one that I was liking for hydrating my lips and my lips are getting really chapped. So I went and got some more of the Nivea lip butters. I seem to lose this one all the time. I must, I think I've bought four of these now. Uh, they're only £2, it's not particularly like a break in the bank, but I think I've probably bought about four because I've just lost them, the whole, like all of them. Um, it's just basically a raspberry um, flavoured uh, lip butter. It's absolutely gorgeous. These ones I feel like actually hydrate my lips. They feel like they're actually hydrating. They feel like, you know, they're curing the chapness on my lips and everything. And I bought an original because I hadn't actually bought a original one beforehand. And I think that's quite good if you don't want any flavour or if you just want it to be clear. Because this one does come out with kind of a pinky like tinge. So if you've got lips to come before and you want to put this over the top or underneath, I think that is really, really good. Absolutely love these, would recommend them to anyone. The next thing is actually something I have been loving and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. It's the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Waterproof Powder. Now I don't know if this is out when everyone shops at the moment, uh, but this is a new powder from Maybelline. Uh, it comes in a compact with a mirror and here is the powder. Mine is in the colour Sand, which is 030. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. It comes with a little sponge, but I not actually use the sponge. Um, I've just been brushing this on in the morning and topping it up through the day. And you can see I'm getting a bit shiny now, so I might put some on throughout this video. I actually put some on now. I just really like the powder. As you can see, it's just gotten rid of that bit of shine there. It's an absolutely amazing powder. It's so finely milled, it literally doesn't show up on your skin at all. It gets rid of the oil, but it looks natural. Absolutely love it. As you can see, it's like pokes through the oil but it's not like it doesn't make you go oily Um, I wouldn't say this for really oily girls because I think obviously you've got your stay matte for that and I do think this is a lot more natural than the stay matte powder but it is because it's a lot more finely milled than the stay matte powder um, but as you can see like 
the, the oil does come through. So if you are really, really oily, I wouldn't recommend this. But it is an amazing, amazing powder and I would really recommend it to everyone except for people that are really, really oily. I also think it's really good for dry skin types because it hasn't like picked out any of my dry patches on my face. Nothing like that. So absolutely love it and would really, really recommend it to anyone. And then another makeup thing that I got is the Bourjois uh, Shine Edition lipstick in the colour 24. Uh, it just looks like this. I picked this up while I was on holiday last week. Yeah, last week. Uh, that's just what it looks like. It's a really nice berry colour. Um, I like. I sometimes like it on my lips, other times I don't. I like the uh, consistency though. I think they're really, really nice on the lips. Oh, it's actually called Rose XOXO, but the number is number 24 if you're looking at the end. Um, but yeah, I do really like these. They really are really, really shiny. They're nothing like this. They are really, really shiny on the lips. They're a nice uh, formula, really hydrating really like these and they do quite a few nice colours so I would recommend those. And then three more beauty things that I've got but they aren't uh, makeup items. The first thing is the Nukes Rev de Meal, uh, Rev de Meal I always call it Rev de Meal but it's probably more French than that, Face Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel. Um, I got this in M&S in Dartmouth, somewhere near Dartmouth, that's where I went on holiday a few weeks ago and this is absolutely amazing it smells gorgeous because it's got honey in it and sunflower oil and i think the honey just makes it smell gorgeous it really soothes my skin it doesn't look red after i've used it nothing like that this is 12 pounds which i didn't think was too bad for nukes um absolutely love it would really recommend it as a cleanser i don't really like cleansers that much like i don't really rave about any cleansers you know i like the surf and glory peaches and clean but i don't think it's amazing and sometimes it makes my skin a little bit red whereas this one is really really nice i really like the smell really like how it feels my skin it's really soothing takes off all the makeup just a really really beautiful cleanser and would really recommend it it's a little bit more expensive than like the kind of drugstore type products but it's you know not too expensive so yes really recommend this one and another thing that i also got in the m&s while i was in dartmouth is from a brand called app 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 for Happy Vita, Happy Vita, Happy Vita. Um, it's the face mask with aloe, and this is the moisturising mask with aloe in it. Uh, it's, it's got 94% of natural ingredients, so really, really good. Um, looks like this, nice little pot, and I think this was about 5 99 which I thought was a really, really good price. They did loads and loads and loads as well, these little um, kind of pots of face, face masks, which I really like. I think they're really nice, and you know, you get quite a few uses out of these, uh, but you know, it's not like a massive, massive pot. Um, I really like this, I think it's really nice, I don't think it moisturises like tons, I think my Origins Drink It Up Intensive Mask is amazing for that, um, but I did need something while I was on holiday, my skin got really dry and I didn't have that with me, I got really really dry patches on my cheeks, uh, around the bottom of my lips and on my eyes, like all around my eyes, and this was really really good for just giving me that boost while I was on holiday, um, I do like it, I have used it since been on holiday, and I like it after using like a, a more kind of intensive like unclogging mask like the Ren Glycolactic um, Radiant Renewal Mask. I like using something like this afterwards because um, that kind of you know unclogs everything but sometimes it's a bit harsh on the skin and sometimes it just kind of takes away the softness, takes away kind of any kind of oiliness. Um, so I suppose if you've got dry skin or even normal to dry skin combination I do think this is a really really good product. And then the last thing that I picked up well, not the last thing, but I haven't got the other things with me. This is the uh, Dove Nourishing Oil Care Re Regenerating Mask. Uh, and this has got uh, weightless nutri oils in and argan oil. Um, I thought this looked really nice and I think I'm actually going to use it tonight. Oh, sorry about that piece of hair. I think I'm actually going to use it tonight on my hair. I did buy the shampoo and conditioner of this as well because they're my, they're my dad's. And I also bought a really interesting product from RightGuard. And um, the product is like an oil, like a shower oil. And I thought it was really, really nice. RightGuard's normally kind of a masculine woman kind of brand i think it's more kind of scientific more kind of like the deodorants kind of aren't as girly and aren't as nice they're just kind of deodorant um if you understand what i mean uh, but they have a really really nice new sh oily shower gel out which i think looks really nice i haven't tried it yet but uh would definitely recommend that like smell wise i haven't tried it but i think it looks really nice um but yes i brought this i haven't tried it yet i think i'm gonna try it tonight and yeah i've heard a lot of good things about it especially from miss but miss but it Budget Beauty. If you have, if you don't watch her, I'll link her down below because she's amazing. Um, but yeah, amazing. And then I'll just show you the clothes. But it's currently taking me ten minutes to go through the beauty bits. <laughs> I've got a few things for Primark, so I'll just show you those first. 
So the first thing that I got from Primark is this jumper. And I really, really like the things I got from Primark this time. I think they're really nice. It's like this cropped little jumper here. It's like a baby blue colour. And it's got all of these little speckles in it. Uh, really, really nice. I've actually got a jumper from Topshop, my bright coral jumper that I have. And I absolutely love that. I wear it all the time. Uh, especially in the winter time. Um, or, you know, springy time. I wore it more. Um, and this is kind of a really nice shape. It's exactly the same shape as that one. Really, really nice. Really like it. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that when it gets a little bit colder and then I got this jumper from Primark which I also really like oh that jumper down there was £12 and I got it in a size 8 no 6 sorry um, and this one here looks like this it's kind of a cream colour with black all over it haven't actually tried this one on yet um, I've had it for like a week and it's got like a zip at the back this one was £12 and I got this one in an 8. I just really think it's really nice. Really nice with a pair of like black trousers and then a pair of like more like out there shoes. I think it would look really, really nice. So yeah, nice casual jumper to wear with a nice pair of smart trousers. Uh, really, really nice piece that one. I really like it. And then the other things from Primark I got were actually cushions for my sofa at my dad's. Um, and then um, a, like some blankets and stuff like that. So I can't actually show you those now. I just got some bits and pieces. I didn't really get like clothes. I just got some like bits and pieces and more kind of home wear -y stuff. Um, and I just picked uh, one thing from Topshop and one thing from Miss Selfridge, which I'll show you now. So the thing from Topshop that I got was a pair of shoes. And I got these. I absolutely love them. I think they look so vintage and so cute. I think they're like, from like a car boot sale. Like they look like they're not like in fashion now, if you understand what I mean. Um, and this is what they look like. They're kind of like a leather or faux leather, I'm not really sure. Uh, kind of like a crosshatch pattern. Um, kind of a low um, brogue type shape. They're not like really, really high up your leg. Um, they go quite low. And these were £25 and so I got them in a size 5. So I really like these. thought they were really good value as well. Um, yes, absolutely beautiful. And I think they look really, really nice with a pair of black trousers and this top, which I'm about to show you. I got this top from Miss Selfridge and it just really, really caught my eye. I'm really liking the check print at the moment, but I don't really like a check shirt. I prefer a check print on something else. And this is what I really, really like. Kind of a tartan print. And um, this is what it looks like. It's not to everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. It's kind of a checked tartan print, like bluey kind of, and there's some red in it, but it's more blue. And then on the sleeves, it's like a leather panel down here. And then the sleeve is kind of a see through -y type material just looks like this and I've actually worn this I don't know how much it was I think it was 30 something it could be like 34 pounds or 36 but it could be like 26 I'll put an annotation as to how much it was but I did get 20% student discount on on the item on that day so that's just what it looks like I really really like it and again really nice with a pair of black trousers or a black skirt or something like that I actually have a black skirt from a Rylan that has braces on it and it looks really really nice with this and again with those shoes so thank you very much for watching guys I really really appreciate it I feel like this video has gone on for ages I don't know why I didn't really have much to show you but I just feel like I must have babbled quite a lot uh, so sorry about that one uh, please subscribe if you haven't already I'm really trying to just get my channel uplifted at the moment I feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a rut and I think I've said that for quite a while now uh, but I do feel like that and it just makes me feel a bit ugh. Um, so yes, please subscribe. I request any videos down below, but the sick form video is coming, I promise. I know some of you are starting back um, school this week, most of you start back to school this week, uh, but I promise that it will be up in the next few weeks. At the end of the day, it's a sick form video, it doesn't have to be up just before you go. You know, it'd be helpful in the first few weeks, even in the first year, for goodness sake. So, it will be up in the next few weeks, I really, really promise. I did actually record it, and I felt like I got to the point really, really well on the video. I felt really, really positive about it. But when I put the video on my computer, my face was so shiny, so, so shiny. It probably is now, but it was awful, and I knew so many of you would comment saying, use some powder, do this, do this. Well, not so many of you, some of you would comment um, kind of saying that, and I wouldn't like it. And also, who wouldn't concentrate on the video because they're too worried about me looking shiny? So I'm going to refilm that one for you and it will be up in the next few days. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.